Hey girls, today is going to be another Law of Assumption video. I'm feeling like I'm really on a roll. You guys seem to enjoy it. I get a lot of views on these types of videos. So yeah, I really enjoy it. It's what I'm passionate about. So I am gonna make more videos. And today is all about scripting, as you can tell from the title. I'm kind of gonna go over just my personal experience because I'm not an expert on it. I just kind of learned through trial and error, taking on other coaches and other people's advice in general and applying that in my own way. So I'm gonna, just gonna go over the basics, give you guys some tips, and then go over my personal experience. If you like these Law of Assumption videos, please do thumbs up and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, and it would be amazing to hit that, um, you know, as my first like big milestone. So yeah, do subscribe if you'd like more of these videos, and let's get started. I have here an old notebook with all my where I kind of did my original scripting. So before I just go over that, I'll give you a quick overview in case you're really new to this and you have only maybe heard of the concept of scripting, but you don't really understand how to apply it. So scripting is literally writing. If you just, yeah, the word script implies, you know, written content. You're basically either typing or writing out your desires, what you want. So it's kind of an alternative, not, it's not, um, you can't like switch out aff affirming for scripting, but it's kind of like an alternative to affirming where instead of saying or thinking your affirmations, you're kind of writing them down almost in a story format. So you can turn into a whole story, a diary entry. There's many different ways, but essentially you're writing out something that you want to happen in your life, um, any major or small daily, yearly, overall desires that you want to happen. So for me, I kind of do more of the bigger things or, and you're using past or present tense. I wouldn't recommend future tense. Some people might recommend it, some people might do it and it works. I just think it's best to imply that it's either already happened to trick your subconscious or assume that it's happening right now. Like you've literally, you're literally in that experience. It's your present moment, um, or you're writing a diary entry where this is what happened today, blah, blah, blah. So the actual way you write it is entirely up to you, whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever, you know, in terms of your like native language and your, I don't know, you don't have to, if you don't like diary entries, you don't have to write in the form of like dear diary or like, you know, act as if you're writing in a journal or something. You can literally just write one or two simple sentences. That is enough. It also works with revision if you want to say, um, something like, um, let's say you're typing it on a laptop or something. I'm so happy that my, I'm so happy that this thing didn't happen. I'm so grateful that actually this is what happened and that event never even happened. You know, you can revise something by saying that, so you can completely change your day or you can also revise by actually just writing out what you wish happened. So say, today I went here and saw this person and I got this text message and let's say that didn't happen at all. You got the complete opposite. That is actually a form of revision. It's just you're writing it in the format of scripting, if that makes sense. So you can also revise things that you, you know, want to get rid of and want to change that they actually didn't happen. You can just script it by writing it by hand or typing it out. For me, I have done revision where I've written things like, I've always done this. I've always been this. This person has always treated me like this. And I've used it as a form of revision like that. And then I'll read over it a couple of times every so often, like sometimes every day I'll read over it. Um, and that is a really good way to revise because then you're reading it, it's going into your subconscious, you're getting a visual. You're just, when you're typing out as well, it works. And then if you kind of just leave it, get on with your day, you're not focusing on it, you're not desperate, you're not rethinking it and you know overthinking, you're just kind of, you wrote it out, this is what happened, this is my ideal situation, it's already happened, it's already here right now, and it's done and you can move on. And sometimes even just that, it's not the act of letting go, but it, it just like sometimes not thinking about it and getting on with your day doing other things can still help it to manifest because you're not having any opposing thoughts because you're literally not even focused on what you wrote. So that's just a quick brief overview of what scripting is. It's really simple. Just and now I'm just going to give you guys um, some examples of what I've manifested. I think it was in 2016 actually, many years ago, six years ago now, someone recommended to me, they didn't call it scripting, but they said write a letter to yourself two years from now 
six months, two years, whatever. Um, I think mine might have even been six months, but anyway, it was sometime between 2016 and 2017. They said, just write a letter to your future self and, you know, date it and, you know, all the things you want to happen, even more kind of out of reach goals. They even include those that you think are probably unrealistic and not something you can naturally achieve. He said, just write down whatever you want you know, in the future. One of the things I wrote, this was, I dated it April 2018. And one of the things I wrote, I graduated from university with the highest grades. And this was when I was doing my masters. And I actually did get the highest grade. I got a first, which was amazing. I was really proud of myself, really happy. And this probably helped manifest it. And I, li I literally got this. And I graduated in late 2017 and this was dated April 2018. I was like, okay, this is a random thing. It's probably never gonna happen. How is this gonna happen? I said, um, I have, I had my photos published in a magazine. And that was one of the things that I was like, that's not gonna happen. I'm not a model. I don't, I'm not a photographer. Like how am I gonna end up in a magazine? Just a few months after the date I wrote here, my photo literally was published in Italian newspapers online. I went on holiday to the Amalfi Coast in sometime around September 2018 and somehow my aunt messaged me like a month later where she said, um, she sent me screenshots and she sent my mom screenshots saying, you've been, Alexa has been published by this um, newspaper. She's been featured on the front cover and front page, whatever of these Italian newspapers online. And they just put pictures of me like calling me a blogger, saying that I visited the Amalfi Coast and Villa Ruffolo, which is um, a little villa and um, sightseeing spot that you can visit in, in Ravello on the Amalfi Coast. So they featured that and I was in shock. And then thinking back to this, when I read over it, um, I think it was like a year later, I read back over this and I realized, OMG, I actually, got that it wasn't obviously you might not get the exact word for word thing it doesn't matter it still manifests because my photos were published by a newspaper it wasn't a magazine but you know it still counts it's still basically the exact same thing so i was shocked that that manifested for me i did not expect that so sometimes you'll get the most crazy things that you script come true another really random crazy thing i don't know if i should even be saying this it's a bit embarrassing i scripted on my laptop i typed it out um, about sometime last summer in 2021 after the was it the euros i think the euros happened then after i watched that i was like you know what i wouldn't mind going on a date with a footballer like that would be fun why not um because some of them were super cute when i was watching the games so i just wrote out something kind of generic and it wasn't a main goal of mine i didn't care like it was an extra added fun little manifestation i just scripted um I went on a date with a handsome, tall, successful footballer. Cause I, d I didn't want someone, you know, some random guy who just joined his local football team because that could manifest if you're not specific with details. So I said, successful, tall, so he's taller than me and he's handsome, he's good looking, whatever. I thought that'd be really fun. And then I scripted it once. I read over it like five, six times maybe. And I think I affirmed it for two days where like maybe 10 times each day, I repeated that, oh yeah, I went on a date with this footballer. So yeah, then I let it go because I was like, I have bigger goals, main goals that I'm actually trying to achieve. This is just a fun little extra and it probably will never happen. So why waste my energy doing these affirmations? And then a couple months later, I just randomly was like, oh, I'm gonna check who saw my Instagram story because sometimes I just get this, I don't know, urge, I'm curious. So I checked. And there was a verified sign next to someone's name. And it was, when I clicked on this page, I could, it, his photo was, um, you know, him playing football. So I could tell it was a footballer. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I actually scripted that I'd go on a date. And I didn't, I like spent like maybe 15, 20 minutes in total trying to manifest it with affirmations and reading over the scripting semi-well-known footballer literally was watching my Instagram stories. He doesn't follow me. I don't follow him. It's not like he somehow found me through his followers. I've never seen him. I don't follow him. I don't engage with his Instagram content. He doesn't even follow me. And like three times now, at random times throughout the past few months, I've seen that he's watched my story. So it partially manifested, but see, if you've really focused on your scripting, 
And if I wrote out a whole paragraph detailing our date or just really focusing on it, and then if, I think if I reread it quite a few times, it would be more ingrained in my mind. And my, it would become quite a bit more ingrained in my mind and subconscious and would most probably manifest more rather than him just watching my story. It would probably be him reaching out to me because I also added something about, I think I also added a point about them DMing me, like the footballer would DM me on Instagram and that's how we'd meet or something. I don't know, it was a bit silly. So yeah, it's pretty crazy the things that will manifest, even if you feel like it's something impossible, like you might say, oh, um, my friend just bought like a red sports car and she's driving me around London or something. Totally random crazy and it could still manifest, honestly. So. Those are just a couple of very small things I manifested through scripting. If you'd like a more detailed video of me just talking about my successes from things I've scripted, I can do that because I have a lot. I probably have way more than I can think of right now. But I just gave you two small examples, well not small, but like two really funny, interesting examples of how you can script the most random, unexpected things and they will still manifest. So yeah, now my overall tips just to give you guys a little bit more advice to finish up the video. Use present or past tense. So as if like, I, as I said before, as if you're writing a diary entry, you don't have to write like dear diary or whatever. You could even put a date. If you're writing by hand, you could put a date like six months from now, or if you'd like it to be more of like a revision thing, you can write it in the past. So you could put date it for last week and then revise a whole day. Let's say you got in an argument with a friend or your boyfriend you could write the date um, when that happened at the top of the page and then revise the whole event, like change everything from the time you started speaking or you met up or wh wh whatever happened and then just revise the whole thing. Be like, and then we went here and he complimented me and my friend was so nice and we had so much fun. Change all the details and honestly, you don't even have to read it a million times. You don't have to write it out a million times. Sometimes just once is enough. And if you get the intuitive urge to reread it, then do it. But don't force yourself to do anything. Don't panic. Just write it, leave it be, come back to it if and when you feel inspired to read over it again or you'd like to read it to visualize. And yeah, don't worry too much. Sometimes I just write things out and then I check back a week later and some of them have manifested. Literally writing something once can honestly manifest. But like I said, don't force yourself to reread it or rewrite it millions of times only when you feel like it if you're in a positive mood and you're feeling like oh i'd love to reread what i wrote because it's such a fun positive you know story and script whatever then do it and you can also do small little tasks like writing out small lists something that i really enjoy doing is write the phrase things that i manifested between and then put a date so i usually do by week so that i can break it down into smaller more random um, weekly goals and for example December 24th to December 31st I'll actually write it out specifically semicolon and then do little hyphens or bullet points whatever and start writing out um, little points so it can be things like um, this friend apologized to me you don't need more details than that it can be something as simple and easy as that you can literally just say this person apologized to me and you have the date written above it so your mind knows that hey this is the date that this is happening and usually for me it works like usually within a week or two i get most or at least a lot of things that i write in this format then you can write random things like um, building in towards your bigger goals let's say your goal is to earn a million pounds you could start just to build up your belief and confidence and excitement um, in manifestation. You could write literally, I won 10 pounds on the lottery because that is such an easy, simple, normal thing that happens to a lot of people that's not too crazy for you to believe. Like anyone could believe that, yeah, I could probably win 10 pounds on the lottery. Um, you could just write that. And then the next week be like, hey, I'm gonna write 100 this week because I got my 10 pounds last week. Let's build it up to 100. And you can work your way up that way. It'll help you stay in a positive mindset, build up your belief in your manifestation and just show you your own personal power. If that's something you wanna do, you can always just write the million pounds and every week, if it doesn't manifest, just every week add it back into that list. Hey, I won a million pounds this week and next week and the week after you can keep writing the same thing until it manifests. But those are just simple ways to script. 
Don't put too much pressure on it. Like I said, have fun. Use your intuition for when you should script, when you should reread your, what you've scripted. Um, if you want to use it to visualize, sometimes I'll put music on and I'll just read what I scripted. If it's a long paragraph, like a long big story, I'll read it and let the visuals just come into my mind naturally. And I feel really positive. Like my, I'm using my subconscious mind to focus on what I want. And it's really powerful for revision as well if you want to reread it a couple times and have that visual of that event happening the way you wanted it to. You can always start it over like, you know, cross it out and start again. It's not set in stone. It's not like a magic pen where it, as soon as you write it, it manifests. You can rewrite it as many times as you want. Um, but yeah, just have fun. Be natural with it. Don't overthink it. Don't force it. There's no right or wrong way to script. And then in terms of the length of what you write, the detail that you write, it's entirely up to you. I would personally add in references to dates or time periods. For example, you writing in past tense or adding a date at the top of your page. I think that just helps. Again, I didn't plan this video out, but I hope you enjoyed my personal stories about scripting and my overall advice. Do leave your comments if you have any other advice on how to script or your personal experiences, and I'll see you next time. Bye.